Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, black7777.blogspot.com. If you missed it, you need to take a look at it. It's Spike Lee's interview with Bloomberg's Trish Regan on Spike Lee using cloud funding for his latest independent movie. Now, I don't say this lightly. I want people who are unaware to figure this out. I believe that black professionals intuitively understand, at least many of us, that for some reason the rules change when they apply to us, right? You're out there, you're hustling, you're grinding to get something done. And somebody else, for some reason, feels that you're somehow cutting corners to accomplish what you're doing. That's what happened in this Spike Lee interview on Bloomberg, right? Trish Regan, and I'm a fan of Trish's, who knows what she was thinking here. Perhaps she didn't think about the subject matter deep enough. Trish Regan literally accuses Spike Lee in the opening segment of somehow drying up the pool of funding for independent filmmakers, right? The idea is simply that Spike Lee's involvement in Kickstarter, a mechanism by which independent filmmakers get funding, was somehow drying up capital for other independent filmmakers. Well, let me just say, Spike Lee was on his game. He asked her directly why the opening was the way it was. I believe black people understand that that's how things are set up. You're on a show to talk about your independent film, the one you have worked very hard to create. And of course, the host starts by saying, why are you funding your film in this way to the detriment of other independent filmmakers, right? The idea, of course, is that you, the African-American filmmaker, is doing something that's immoral, something that is unethical, that you are somehow stepping on the little guy when you, of course, are the little guy. Let me just say, Spike pointed out to her the obvious, that he was an independent filmmaker and that he's trying to get his movie funded just like everyone else. Spike went further and talked about how he was a professor at NYU who's actually spent a huge portion of his life trying to encourage independent filmmakers. Now, I don't know who gave Trish Reagan her talking points, but whoever it was was following a long tradition of literally trying to hold the black people on the show, in this case, a black filmmaker, to an impossibly higher standard than everyone else is held. Perhaps this is news to Trish Reagan, but Spike Lee is actually an accomplished filmmaker who's trying to fund his films. Perhaps your staff should figure out who he is before you start questioning him on your show as to why he, an independent filmmaker trying to make things happen, is trying to somehow, according to you, keep other filmmakers from getting their works financed. I thought the interview was simply preposterous. Trish Reagan was off her game. I feel this kind of structural bias is in fact structural. I thought Spike Lee was on his game and set the program straight. The question I have, and I understand it's going to be controversial, 
is if Spike Lee were a white filmmaker, would he have been held to this level of heightened scrutiny? This is YouTube. Let's be blunt. I don't think so. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at keepingitfree.blogspot.com. Thanks for stopping by.